Wow, so I'd never really noticed this before, but 1981's Death Hunt, um, although loosely based on a true story, uh, features a plot where an innocent man is hunted across the wilderness by local law enforcement after a misunderstanding and must use his former military skills to survive the land and evade his would-be captors. Now, only one year later, uh, Sylvester Stallone starred in First Blood, um, the first in the mega-famous Rambo series, where he played an innocent man hunted across the wilderness by local law enforcement, having to rely on his former military training to survive the land and evade his would-be captors. Now, the fact that First Blood was adapted from a 1972 novel and Death Hunt was inspired by the 1931 account of the manhunt of the Yukon trapper Albert Johnson throws the similarities into the realm of coincidence. However, there are more than a few similarities to the two movies scattered throughout Death Hunt. Let's take a look. So released in 1981, Death Hunt still has quite an old school feel to it. Um, obviously it has a period setting, but I'm not sure if it was the pairing of Lee Marvin and Charles Bronson, um, their third after You're in the Navy Now and The Dirty Dozen. Um, but aside from a few moments of quite graphic violence, it could almost be a 70s or even 60s movie. Of course, Marvin and Bronson are the kind of actors that uh, not only don't exist anymore, uh, but that the film industry wouldn't let exist. Uh, they'd be nowhere near PC enough for today's sensitivities. I'm Captain Hank Tucker, RCAF. I've come to bring the fugitive to justice. Where's headquarters? Wherever I'm standing. But anyway, Death Hunt, which let's agree now is one of those great subtle as a sledgehammer, no nonsense movie titles, um, is essentially a chase movie. Uh, in fact, for a huge chunk of it, that's all it is. Uh, and to be fair, that's one of its strengths. So the movie kicks into gear when Charles Bronson rescues a husky dog from a, a vicious dog fight. Uh, and I'm not going to show any of it here because it's either ultra realistic or was an actual film dog fight. Um, I hope not. But anyway, Bronson comes to the canine's rescue, much to the fury of the dog's owner, um, and buys it from him to nurse it back to health. <laughs> Have dead. I'm buying them. And this act essentially kicks off an entire bloody chain of events as said dog owner complains to Lee Marvin's local lawman, um, who has better things to do, like drinking whiskey and smoking cigars. This man here says that man should be brought up for trial. Now what are you going to do, Edgar? I'm going to close my eyes and pray you disappear. Hmm. Never had much luck praying. So the sleaze pot owner takes the law into his own hands and uh, with a group of local tow rags goes to confront Bronson, uh, which you can imagine is a mistake. Now a gunfight breaks out and Bronson kills a man. Um, it's self-defence, but the town folk and Marvin's lawman can't just leave it at that and have to take him in or try to. <laughs> Hold it! <laughs> And as such, it's not too long before several more bloody corpses are created um, and Johnson must go on the run across some of the coldest and most treacherous terrain in North America. Now, hot on his heels, uh, along with Marvin, is uh, Apollo Creed himself, Carl Weathers, as uh, expert tracker Sundog Brown. Um, also an idealistic young Mountie, Alvin Adams, whose by-the-book goody two-shoes approach will be tested out in the frozen wilderness. Now, one of Death Hunt's main selling points is its jaw-dropping Yukon landscapes. Uh, this is one of those movies that makes you feel cold, even as you're watching it. Uh, fair play to the cast and crew, as a good chunk of the film was shot in freezing conditions in the Canadian Rockies. So what about those Rambo comparisons that I opened the video with? Well, other than the actual plot of the movie, uh, a couple of bits stood out for me on a recent rewatch. Um, if you've seen 1982's First Blood, you may remember a scene where Rambo's old military colonel, uh, Troutman, turns up to warn the law of uh, Rambo's military past. We'll check this out. As you can see, he was one of the Americans' best trained men, special intelligence squad in the war. The pictures were taken for security. He was trained in survival I can read, tactics. Now, he ain't no rookie. Now, 1982's First Blood is also notable for several thrilling action set pieces, um, a legendary one being the moment that Rambo evades a helicopter, firing on him by jumping off a cliff and into some trees. We'll check this out. Anyway, 
Thankfully, what Rambo doesn't have uh, in First Blood is an ill-advised, tacked-on romantic subplot featuring the iconic Angie Dickinson turning up in town to collect her dead husband's belongings and in what amounts to probably about five minutes of screen time, falls into bed with Lee Marvin's lawman, uh, then leaves town when she realises that he's only really interested in hunting down Bronson. Um, it's a waste of Dickinson and you'll probably completely forget she was in it by the time the final act arrives. So, considering the snowbound conditions, the film's well directed by Peter Hunt. Um, Hunt didn't really have the most prolific directing career, but was the man responsible for editing the first three James Bond movies. Um, and his first ever directing gig was actually on a Majesty's Secret Service. Incidentally, another snowbound action feature. He redirects Lee Marvin and Charles Bronson in the twilight of their careers, really. Uh, with Marvin, quite literally, uh, with only a few films left in him, he died in 1987. Bronson, however, was about to launch into another couple of decades of Death Wish sequels. Um, he did make a few more decent movies, but the time had come for bodybuilders and kickboxers to take on the action hero mantle. Now, one of the biggest draws for me in a film like Death Hunt is the fact it's always awesome to see two old school action heroes like Bronson and Marvin face off against one another. Um, although the nature of the story dictates that they don't share a huge amount of screen time. You don't look like a mad man. You look like a Mountie. Johnson, we've got a bad situation out here. It's a dead body over there. Probably has your bull in it. And Charles Bronson gives another one of those almost wordless performances, uh, many times appearing as nothing more than a figure on the horizon for Marvin and Quarter Chase, um, but his screen presence is undeniable. He actually looks like he could live off the icy land. And Marvin likewise brings his usual cigar-chomping, tough sarcasm. Um, here he doesn't want to have to hunt Bronson down, but he has to follow the law to an extent. Uh, but the pair definitely share a respect for one another that leads to an interesting finale. Now while it's a given that both actors are undeniable badasses, uh, neither one of them will ever win any fancy acting plaudits. Uh, and that honestly doesn't matter because Death Hunt is the very epitome of an old school action flick. Go check it out. Now you're in charge. It's up to you what killing stops. 